I knew this was going to happen, but I did not think it was going to be this quick. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, you probably are like, what the fuck, how on earth did we get James Charles to look 10 years older? Okay, maybe even like 50 years older. But in case you guys did not know this, this, the James Charles X Morphe palette. I, and I'm gonna be real with you guys, I am not a makeup artist. I do not know anything about the Mighty Morphin Morphe palette. <laughs> the Mighty Morphin Morphe palette. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know a thing or two about visual effects and AI animation using AI to make some really dope visuals. So that's exactly what we did here. We used a super cool new software called EV Synth and a phone app called Face App. Face App. Yeah. Okay, and face app mixed with After Effects to create a pretty cool effect. Inside it includes a James Charles X Morphe full 34 piece brush set and a real James Charles palette. Um, I'm super surprised by the results because no, this is all done with just a phone and a computer and about like three buttons in between there. Well, okay, no, it's, it's a little bit more. But anyways, we're gonna get on to how you can do this. I'm excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna talk about what you need. It's actually pretty simple. You just need one of these right here. It's a smartphone or a tablet or anything that can run uh, the Face app. You can even use your computer for that using something like BlueStacks, but that, that's, never mind, fuck it. That, that's, that's a whole longer process. I don't like doing it that way. We're gonna do it with just a phone, Face app, and Adobe After Effects. Oh, and shoot, you're gonna need something to, to get footage from. Uh, so let's see. How about we use this clip right here? Hello there, Sonny. Okay, so once you have the clip that you wanna make older, you're gonna have to import that into After Effects, export that out as a PNG sequence or a JPEG sequence if you wanna make the file size smaller. Make sure that you have your composition settings set to start the time code at zero. That way, every frame that gets rendered out will go from zero to one, two, three, to however many frames you have left in the entire sequence. And then we're gonna import those frames or those images onto our phones and open them back up in FaceApp. Now, FaceApp has a bunch of different filters, but essentially the way it works is that it sends that screenshot over to their servers, which has an AI that'll link it with whatever images that it pulls together to create a really quick composite. So then it'll add wrinkles where it needs to add it. And the results are pretty like wild. So you can go ahead and download those images and these are gonna be called our keyframes. Once you have them done from FaceApp, import them back into your computer. And we're gonna make three separate folders. The first one is gonna be called key, which we're gonna put in the FaceApp images and rename those based on what frames they are. So it's important that we have the originals. Then we're gonna have another one called video, which is gonna have the entire sequence. And the last one is gonna be called out. And that's where all of the final images from EB Synth are gonna get put into. So once we do that, we're gonna set all the parameters in EB Synth to select where each keyframe is. Now, it depends on which range of keys that you want it to work with. The developers of EB Synth actually reached out and said that they recommend you just do the entire sequence, but I found this to take forever. In fact, it's still running on the computer right now. So one of the other ways to do it is just to have little sections of them uh, running so like maybe frame 10 will work for 0 through 10 and then frame 20 will work from 10 through 20 that way uh, You don't have just like frame 10 working from 0 to 20 and frame 20 working from 0 to 20 Which is 40 frames and yeah, that's a whole lot of math that you don't have to worry about So anyways once you have that all set up We're gonna hit synth and wait because it takes probably about like 5 to 10 minutes depending on how long your sequences are these ones are just gonna be a few seconds long, so something not too difficult. And once we have all of that finished, we're gonna import that into After Effects. Okay, so super important, once you have it in After Effects, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have it imported uh, with the right settings. So you're gonna to wanna to right click on the, the image sequence and go over to interpret footage and change the frame rate to whatever frame rate your footage is. Uh, all of these clips, or for the most part, most of these clips were done in 23.976. So yeah, I had to change it to 23.976. 
If you're working with 24 frames per second, change it to 24. If you're working with 60 frames, change it to 60. That, that's pretty much how you do it. Import that back into a composition of its own and you should have a super dope effect. Now, I noticed that the face app logo is uh, baked into the image already and it's kind of in the bottom right corner. So I added a quick rectangle mask in the corner and had the original video underneath it so that it filled in the space that got deleted. And just like that, with a few bit of tweaking with the feathering, we had a super dope, really nice looking aging effect. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I wanna know what you guys think. If you're able to make something super dope with this, I want you guys to leave a tag at Black Mixture so we can see it and check it out. I'm sure a bunch of other people are gonna love checking it out too. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. So babe, do I, do I look like a pimp when I'm older? <laughs> 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 <laughs>